network security, DOS attacks. We all know what a denial of service attack is all about. In this video, I want to show you an example of a DOS attack that happened to me. To remind you, I'm pretty sure you remember, a DOS attack is designed to, in most cases, flood your network and it will, in most cases, prevent network traffic or a connection between a PC and a server to servers and so on. It can even crash a server or a network device. In my situation, it was a type of a SYN flood attack that you can see on your screen at the moment. It was a DOS attack that happened to me some time ago. I have some logs and captures. I want to show it to you. The first thing that I noticed was a syslog message. My ASA reported a duplicate TCP SYN from that IP address. Things like that happen every day, every hour, every minute. I have a syslog server and I can see I don't know, five, six RDP sessions a day. People try and RDP into my network and I have a dynamic IP address. Yeah, things like that just happen. People do that for fun, for, you know, to get access to a network, whatever. What was really strange in that case, well, I, I, I saw hundreds of messages like that from that source and destination was port 80 and that was really dangerous because I had a web server running at the time and I didn't like the idea that someone tried to crash that server. That's why I decided to investigate that. The first thing I did, I opened a case with Cisco. Why? Well, I wanted you know, them to look at it as well and confirm it was a DOS attack. What I did next, I captured some packets on ASA. ASA, I'll show you that in a moment. ASA can, can capture uh, packets on all interfaces and you can open it in Wireshark. It's really great. It will tell you a lot about that, about a situation like that. Then what, what I did, I, well, that's, that Cisco advice, but I, I did that, uh, anyway, Cisco said, okay, close port 80 and, uh, shun that IP address. Yep. Of course I did that. I closed port 80. And my main concern was that something was wrong with my server, right? That was my main concern. There was always a chance that the problem was with my server. What do you mean? Well, maybe it was a virus or a Trojan, something that was initiating that connection. Fortunately, that was not the case. And it was a type of a sin flood attack. I have some... I have some captures, that's one of them, source, destination, please note that was because it's after NAT, yeah, 192.168.5.11, and inside you can see TCP port number, numbers reused, Wireshark will highlight things like that for you, it will it will make it easier for you as well. You can spot that straight away. That was one of the of the captures. I remember I captured five or six sessions and it was not the same message. It was, all of them were related to uh, SYN messages, but not the same. It was a type of a SYN flood attack, modified SYN flood attack. 
okay and again the whole the whole idea here the whole idea was or is to have a good monitoring system right without the syslog server you can't say anything yeah you have to have all these tools in place it's really really important of course you need an IPS device you need a good firewall things like that but you have to have a good monitoring system in place and you can't even imagine how many companies they don't even have a syslog server yeah I'm not talking about you know SNMP and NetFlow and you know, nah, just just a basic syslog server right okay I'll show you how you can uh, capture some packets on ASA firewalls now I'll show you that from ASDM. It is possible to do that from the CLI as well. We'll use ASDM. Okay, it's loading. Okay. We go to wizards and here it the, you will find a packet capture wizard. Next, here you can specify your first interface I'm interested in that one inside which one okay let me try 172.16.1.21 you should be as specific as possible right that makes sense here I will allow all traffic here destination any outside I'm not really interested in at the moment next and you start when you're ready you click stop you get the buffer and that's what ASA captured what you can do you can save it and open it in Wireshark you click save and you open it in Wireshark I'll do that for you as well it's ready of course you you have to have Wireshark on your PC that's pretty obvious we can see source destination VNC that that's okay because I am using VNC at the moment and TCP okay yeah and you can see all traffic source 172.16.1.21 destination any please remember you should try and be as specific as possible right if you want to capture ICMP please specify ICMP of course in Wireshark you can do that you can you can you can specify whatever you want and filter it that's that's absolutely fine please remember in a in a in a very busy network you will see hundreds of megabytes yeah of captures you don't want that if possible specify an access list it will make your life easier of course you can search here and specify VNC I will see VNC only yeah it is possible still I prefer an access list if possible in this video I showed you an example of a DOS attack a denial of service attack this is CCNA real world labs and I decided it would make a lot of sense to give you a real example again the most important thing is of course we need a good firewall and IPS and AV protection things like that it's all important you need a monitoring system yeah you need a syslog server you need an SNMP server NetFlow all these things because in a situation like that you don't have time to set up anything right you want to have everything in place and investigate the main issue thank you very much